Representing your city means more in Philadelphia. Whether it be the gridiron, hardwood, a diamond, or ice rink, it's different here. How you doing? How you doing? Rob Thompson. Travis Connecty. Travis, you played in Sarnia, right? Yes, I did. Brody Tedder. Nice to meet you. While one team is in the hunt for a red October, the Flyers are hoping for a hot start to theirs. But in order to become closer on the ice, they must grow together off of it. Why don't we uh, just flip something for who's going? Oh, you gotta go first. Why? Yeah, don't make You're me go first. All right, I'll, I'll go first. I'll love I'm all hard. Right. First round. Oh yeah. Boy, Bronner. <laughs> Change up. Strike him out. I hope I get one. I gotta pull it. Ah, that's short. In there. Nice. Nice, Eddie. He makes contact. He, oh, yeah, it's gone. Not a one time guy, though. No, no, no. He's more of a cradle guy. <laughs> Stay, instead of you saying turn it around it, stay right in here. Yeah, because I feel like when I was swinging, I was catching him like in here, like because I was coming out. When searching for a way to unwind with the season on the horizon, sometimes all you need is some friendly competition. Is that out? Three points. That's out. That's gone. No. Thank you very much. Appreciate you hanging out. Good luck today, eh? After a rigorous four days of camp, the players are granted a day to relax and recuperate. For Flyers president and general manager Chuck Fletcher and his staff, there are still plenty of decisions to be made. So talking to Torch yesterday, he gave me a list of players that he wants to make sure play quite a bit. The typical names, um, and Noah Cates, Luxell, Lazinski, Frost, Forster, Roussel on a PTO, Tippett, Allison, Hodgson, McEwen. So, you know, there's a lot of guys there that aren't getting in games. So I think we're seeing things the same way. I think Torts is good with us picking the roster for the next couple games and we're getting in all the players the coaches want to see. My guess is by the weekend, I'm not sure if we'll start looking at specific lines or just same thing and probably be a lot of evaluation still, particularly if Coots and Farabee aren't, you know, they're, they're not likely to be at full strength at the early part of the year here. So we're going to have to make sure we know some of these kids and some of them are going to get an opportunity right away. So any surprises so far for anybody? Good or bad? Looks so obviously. Yeah. When was the last time Lexell played center? Years ago. He's playing well on the left wing right now, so. With roster spots and playing time up for grabs, Swedish forward Ula Lixell is among the Flyers' youngsters making the biggest impression. I'm still learning here, and uh, obviously it went uh, pretty good at those uh, rookie games, and it was uh, really fun to play. I think I have to step up my game a little bit, so. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, there is a different vibe already. Just three days in the training camp, John Tortorella has their attention. Tonight, they're going to face another club for the first time. Lehigh Valley Phantoms head coach Ian LaPerriere will be behind the bench for the Flyers' first two preseason games. And he is preaching John Tortorella's message. I'm going to tell you what he's looking for. You want to impress the big boy, of course? A lot of new faces here. It's your first good impression, big challenger. He wants you to defend hard. He wants you to block the shots. He wants you to fucking make the right play in the red zone there, boys. Are we good? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I hope you guys are too. You're tired maybe from those first three days of skating? He wants to see you 
and battle through it. So do your job, go short ship and battle through it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Flyer upended into the corner. Frost gains control again. Owen Tippett's out there with him, along with Ule Lixell, who we talked about. He has opened more eyes than maybe anybody in the first couple of days of camp. Bell, Bell, hi. Yeah, obviously it's uh, something you you really have dreamed of. Like uh, since you start playing hockey, you watch the NHL, and of course you want to be there, and uh, it would be an amazing feeling. Yeah, I feel like I'm uh, very hungry and I, I want to succeed and uh, yeah, it would be very nice to get the opportunity, but uh, yeah, I think I have to battle for it. He's coming around on the wall, pass, pass 74. While Ula Lixell continues to turn heads, two brothers have also been making an impression. Dip it to force it, one timer save it, rebound, and they score! Mm -hmm. Noah Cates of the beautiful feed for Frost. And there's no place better to do it than in the city of brotherly love. It's back out to move the shot, deflection, score! Jackson Cates reaching for it, I believe, got his stick on it. And the Cates brothers have both scored. And the heart sounds and the players hang on for the 2 1 victory. You and Jackson both scored tonight. Is there a little bit of a brotherly lover there that you? Hopefully it wasn't tipped in there. It wasn't just really very happy for you, <laughs> no, I'm so happy. That was that was awesome. That was a huge goal for for the team, and then obviously for him, uh, you know, coming in coming into this camp after being hurt a little bit at the end of last year, uh, definitely has something to prove, and he's he's been great. And can't say enough good things about you know him pushing me, and yeah, all lots of him just kind of coming in and making me feel more comfortable, and he's been great. Jackson and Noah Cates are chasing their NHL dream together, just as they did in college. I mean, it's been a dream come true. We've been playing together since. We were toddlers in the basement and whatnot, and then um, all the way to high school and college, and then now at the pro level, it's pretty special. Yeah, for sure, super special to you know go through all the ranks with your brother growing up, high school, college, and now uh, you know an NHL training camp together, and it's been great moving moving up the ladder together, and uh, you know hopefully this next step we can we can be together again. Just our mom was at the the first preseason game when we both scored, so she was she was thrilled, and um, that was obviously a great experience with that she came out for Jackson's birthday and we ended up both playing and both scoring. So that was super special. Back at the hotel, is there a lot of talk about hockey or are you guys just kind of chilling out? Uh, a lot of chilling out, try to get our mind off it as much as we can and recover as much as we can, um, just to save the legs for the, for the next day. Um, then we just yeah, hang out, get dinner every night somewhere and get a little cards, a little Netflix, read a book, uh, anything we can do to get, um, kill the time and whatnot in the hotel. So. Try to keep our minds off it as much as we can, but we still for sure talk, talk about hockey a lot. Definitely a good opportunity for so many young guys in this organization, and he's gonna give the younger guys a chance, but uh, you gotta have you know, good detail, and you gotta just work hard every day, and you know, try, to be, try to be a veteran, and you know, not have those, have those rookie moments or little mistakes here and there that, that uh, usually cost young guys. Yep, 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 Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Yep, we're all over him. All over him. North! Jim, Jim! Where were you? Oh, I'll hold up on the Yeah, you gotta talk. We've both given our fair share of tongue lashings to each other, but uh, I feel like I'm on the receiving end a little bit more, but that game, uh, I felt like that was a little bit frustrating, but you know, we'll be better off for it in the, in the future. Growing up in like high school, for sure, that's when I think we had our most of our bashing moments, but obviously we're new here with the Flyers, so I think that's pretty much our first one, so. Hopefully we'll a lot more to come. <laughs> I guess, yeah, hopefully <laughs> <Maybe>. more. <laughs> Despite a coming up short in Buffalo, the Case brothers are catching the eye of the Flyers' front office. Well, I like the Case brothers again tonight. I feel like they're working and they, they look good. They, they're in sync all camp so far. They've been the best guys out there, not only in games, but in practice. They do their little things right, and all credit to them. They came in camp uh, ready, conditioning through the roof, and um, they're getting better every day. Not that it's a surprise, but Noah Gates has been solid yeah they're all in great shape with two preseason games in the books 
It's time for John Tortorella's newest lieutenants, Brad Shaw and Rocky Thompson, to get a closer look. Good job, guys. Offensive zone face-offs, let's jump the uh, pinch. We'll pinch, we'll jump both wings. Just like that, good job. I'm, I'm very detail-oriented, and I think uh, Shazi's the same way. To me, coming to the rink and working hard, that, that's fun for me. And uh, being around the guys is good. Having a relationship with them is important. And that's how I've always uh, been as a coach. I was how I was as a player, as a leader. And so that never changed for me. I, I'm not somebody else uh, when I come here. I am who I am. And I, like I said, I like to, to joke around. But uh, when it's time to work, it's time to work. And you can do that with a smile on your face. You can do that and make a joke. That's fine. As long as you put your nose to the grindstone and keep pushing, then uh, that's a positive thing. Well, the chance to work with Torts again really intrigued me. I, I really enjoyed the five years in Columbus with him. Just so happens my older brother's a fanatical Flyer fan, so um, you know that made it easy as well. But they're the type of team that uh, you walk down the hall and you read some of the stuff and you see the names. Uh, I think that gives a little bit more incentive, and I also think the fan base. I think Torts has set the tone, you know, with the foundation that we wanted to lay here. Work ethic, again, the culture, and um, it, the guys have done a great job. It's been very taxing on them, but uh, they've put the work in. They put the work in over the summer, and it doesn't matter how hard you work over the summer, you get here and, and you go through a training camp like that, and you realize, whew, there's another level, and, and our guys were finding it, which is a good thing. There's lots of guys that aren't quite sure where they're going to be. Show us what you can do well. Show us what you do on the ice. Bring your best game. Let's all band together. Let's find a way to get the win here tonight. We've got Hayes' line, Provy, Tony D on, on the back end, Sandy and that. Great start. Great first time. Find a solution, great play. Make it work. It's a tough bounce, right idea. I am a competitive guy and, you know, we realize our job here is to get us as good as we can, as fast as we can. And I, I think the puzzle of that, I think how you, how you put all those pieces together in the right combination to get to that, that finishing point or, or at least get on that road to that finishing point, that really drives that competitive juice in me to, to, to find the right way and be a part of the staff that finds the right way and then take that idea and then translate it to the players. That journey and really intrigues me. I didn't think I'd be doing it this long and I'm gonna try and do it as long as I can. I, I love it, I think it's a, it fits who I am and I couldn't be more fortunate to be able to do it at, at this level and, and with this organization. So I'm really happy uh, to be here. Uh, can't wait to see where we can take these guys. The job is far from over. As camp continues on, competitions are growing. Roster cuts are looming. And for some, their training camp journey will come to an end. But the others will continue to fight to keep their opening night lineup dreams alive. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! 